In Autopano and Autopano Video, there is a blending parameter for combining overlapping zones between your photos or videos to make the frontier between them less visible. You have the choice between two presets which adapt to different needs, but you can also modify them in the advanced settings. Let's start with the default blending preset, Sharp. It uses ISO cutting with very strict frontiers between cameras. You can see that here in Autopano Giga by activating Preview and the Masking tool. You can see the borders. This is exactly how ISO cutting cuts the frontiers and you can use the masking tool if there are visible breaks. Selecting the smooth preset will switch the weighting to diamond, which will interpolate the frontiers by blending or merging the frontiers, possibly resulting in ghosts instead of a straight cut. This blending mode can't be used with masks. The difference between these two modes will be most noticeable when there are parallax errors, with a good stitch in the background but not in the foreground or vice versa, or with slight desynchronizations, mostly visible in videos with sudden movement. Concerning the advanced settings, it is recommended you stick to their default settings. Diamond corresponds to the smooth mode, ISO cutting to the sharp mode. Smart cutting can't be used in videos, it deactivates the horizon parameters, and none just places the videos without blending them. For the blending type, which defines how the pixels of each image will be merged, it is recommended to stick with multiband. The slider represents how much the pixels should be blended. Here we can clearly see the frontier, then slightly blended, then a bit more, and now maybe too much. This allows uniform colour correction. If you set the blending to linear, you will see that there is no interpolation. To conclude, the choice between sharp and smooth depends on your content type of video, static or in movement, and what you prefer visually. Generally, for a well-stitched static video, sharp mode will do just fine with clean cuts on the edges. For videos with a lot of movement, smooth mode would probably be more adapted to the content. Mm -hmm.